Okay, so back to the bodywork. So what we're going to play with today, and we don't have a lot to lose here, so we're going to have a go anyway. See if we can get this wing to fit nice. I pretty much had this wing for free, and this is why that panel gap down there is horrific. It's right there. It's kind of right there. I can actually get my finger into there. So we're going to have a go and see if we can make panel gaps uh, correct on that. The uh, plan is to slit this all the way down along there, move that over and fill the gap pretty much. The same across here. The panel gap is way too tight. There's a little bit of give on that yet. But uh, again, it's all about making it fit. The, the wing itself is not too horrific in shape. So I think it's worth having a go. The front is not nice either. This is too fat here. So you compare that to that slender edge of the bonnet there. Then it's this is a good three or four mil fatter. Uh, so also we have a go at cutting that around there and tidying that up. So what I thought I'd do, I'd break this video up into separate videos, separate sections of what we do. And we'll start off with the with the beast first and see if we can get that bonnet gap done right first. Okay, let's get the front panel on. Right, this lives here somewhere. Back on. Oh, you need a GoPro to stick to your head. I know. <coughs> Did you have one of those comments? On a GoPro? No. Oh. Okay, so we've got the front panel done. Suggested panel gap is somewhere between five and six mil, so I'm going to go with 5.5. .5. So, which is not too bad around here. On the front panel, on this gap's come back to us, so that's not a million miles off there. You can work with that. So down here, get about right there, and you can see the difference. You know, we're almost a 10 mil gap there, and then. We're back down to not a million miles off there. So, what first thing I want to do is screw this down tight where it's going to live, and then then we'll start playing around with gaps. So, get my magic screws, get the bonnet up, get that in place. I haven't fitted my flitch panel here yet. I have got a couple of flitch panels. These things, if you go over there, hang on, that's the other side. Oh, hang on, that, that, that is this side. So that, that fits effectively underneath there, but these, I think they're probably dimensionally correct for an escort which hasn't been worked on. But this has been, I've had a bit of work on that area, so they're not quite right. So I'm going to fit the wing first and sort of make these, after, make, make these fit after the event. Or even make me own. Yes. Extra light. I basically just work from centres to centres. So I've got two screws either way, and we go for the one in the middle. And then middle again. Should be there somewhere. Just keep going middle and middle and middle until you've got something that looks half about. So 
Not like that, I reckon. Interestingly, that gap has closed right up there. So maybe as I manoeuvre that in, this might follow it in a little bit. Which would be good news if it does. I persuade on it. <laughs> I think we need to do is open the bonnet. It comes spinning back on me. Let's have a look, see what that looks like. Apart from a damaged wing. <laughs> okay, right, we're heading in the right direction. stop that somehow. Okay, let's just work from here where we're tight. So we still, still need to go in from there. Okay, so I think that's going to go in anyway. I think we need to go that. Ah. Stuck, stuck. <laughs> well, it's going in. It's quite a big gap. That might fall in. It isn't working. <laughs> no, 
we're cooking on gas. Right, all right, if you put the camera down the line of there, you can see that is considerably better than what we did have. So that's a half about panel gap there now. So all we need to do now is make up this gap here, which is quite enormous. <laughs> Same gap, you just moved it over. <laughs> some of these down as well. It welded itself to the thing already. Honestly, I don't break air vents. <laughs> Use all the time, you know, sport, that sort of thing. Exactly. It's fine. <clears throat> okay. Right. Perfect. Right, that'll fit that bit there. So the idea now is get something quite sturdy in there to fill the gaps otherwise as you weld and it shrinks it ain't going to shrink very far because it's jammed up against this right so this bit of metal rod here bit of steel rod i can't remember what it's from but it's perfect fit so what i've done i've put a little bit of a if you sort of see that but i put a little bit of a bend on it so it follows the profile of the wing and i'll find where that fits in there snugly and drop it in drop it in and spot it in place i won't fully weld it yet i'll just tack everything together and the beauty of this is now it'll leave a little bit of a crown over the top a little bit of a bump which you can just simply grind off and they'll be nice and solid that's the plan anyway it's worked in the past so let's have a see if we can get it to work on this it's looking promising so far that that's a much nicer gap down there anyway and if I can use this ring, it's going to save me a few hundred quid. Right, so this needs to drop into there. 
like so and be welded at the same time. So I'm going to make sure these are close. Obviously this is going to have to be finished off with some uh, filler. There's, there's no getting around that. But minimum amount of filler we can put in the better. And I don't want filler on the edges. That's why I've come in a little bit. So these edges can remain steel when we come to painting many years down the line. So let's get the welder fired up and stick that in. Okay, so welder sorted. I think this is going to be trial and error to begin with to get the settings right. Before this will uh, want to play ball. Let's just give it a go and see what happens. The welder setting seems pretty good, so it's uh, get the heat onto that and then push it into the wing. Okay. Right, that looks good. So what I'll do is slowly, slowly weld this backwards and forwards and then grind that down flat to the wing. So down here for the for the thinner end. Got bits of thinner rod fit in. Well, that's probably a bit too thin there. Okay, so short on that, and that will fit in just about there. Lovely. Right, that gap's probably still a little bit too wide for tacking in. Probably tack this one in down here somewhere. Yeah, it's still a bit too wide there. What will happen because it's too wide as that well shrinks that'll pull that in and I'll be going to cause myself trouble there if we go carry on. Right, I need to um, adjust this a little bit that's, that's dropped down too far on this side so I'm going to cut that out there and bring that back up again. Can be a little bit daunting to go back like this but if you don't if you don't do it now it'll be a nightmare waiting to happen further down the line i think what's happened there is that needs to be relieved a little bit we lost that we? we're still good down there Hmm. Ah, 
that's pretty good there now. Okay, let's back that back in. This, this rod will be sucking a lot of this heat out of the weld as well, which is good news. Right, let's try again. We're getting this into here. It's dropped again. Yeah, push it up from underneath and close the fingers. That's okay. Right, so we need to find something thinner to go in there, no? Let's see what we got. Right, so this is uh, his steel, we've got a little bit of his zinc coating on it, so we'll get rid of that. Because you don't, you don't want to weld under zinc, it's really bad for your lungs. I mean, insanely bad for your lungs. promising so we want to go from there all the way over to there hook that over that needs a bit of straightening Lovely. Right about there. Just like that.
And then get something up behind there to grab the heat. And the copper pad. It'd be tighter. And do us. Right, so what I'll do now is just backwards and forwards connecting the dots, which will take about six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> This is how far we've got, but now, as you can probably tell from that hideous mess there, my welders, I've run out of CO2, so, <laughs> to be continued. So, that's where we are so far. As you can see, it looks pretty appalling, but don't worry about that. That's what the invented grinders and body filler for. But the gap is much nicer. I can live with that. So... There we go. We shall return when we get CO2. So here we go, fully welded. It's uh, taking a lot of time over this, slowly backwards and forwards, slowly, slowly, slowly to get that to be fully welded in. So the next challenge now is grind that off and see what we've ended up with. Got a little bit of distortion happened there, but uh, on the whole, not too bad. Right, so the idea here is just to take a stone, grinding stone, knock the worst of this off, and then we'll uh, start working our way through the different grades in to, to see what we get. cutting disc in on us, it's quite proud. Right. I used my uh, corded grinder for this, this is uh, Aldi Special struggling a little bit with this, this idea. Right, that's the worst of the tops not off it. You can see a couple of areas where I've gone wrong here. Um, this side's this side's a little lower than that side, but not horrifically so, so a little skimmer filler will sort that out. But here I've gone quite low here, so I might cut this out, tap that up and come back to that. 
But uh, on the whole, it's not looking too bad. The gap is still nice, which is that's the, the main thing here. The rest of very thin skin of filler on the top of this to get this right. As long as I don't have filler on the edges here, I'd be happy. good so far. Right let's swap this disc out for something a bit gentler. Right so I've got some 40 grit which might not be which might not be quite aggressive enough but we'll give it a go and see, see what we got. something more aggressive on that bit there it's a 24 grit now I cheat a little bit with these I use a worn out um, cutting disc on the back and just put them straight under that that gives me a nice edge which I can work with To the grinding disc, I think. Still quite a bit to take off there. Right, well, we're getting better. Getting there slowly, slowly, as usual. Right, back to the uh, back to this one now. Right, I don't know if this is going to show up on the camera. A bit of a problem just here. Where, get the light out there, you can just see it there, look. Just down there, the weld hasn't penetrated very well. So I'm going to have to spot that back in along there and grind that back. A couple of spots as well there, the same things happen again. So it's just a case of going backwards and forwards over these things to get them right. I don't expect to get this particularly perfect. I'm not uh, not that good at it. But uh, what doesn't work out here, body filler will sort out. I'm not uh, I'm not against using body filler. It has its place as long as it's not uh, sort of five six millimeter thick. As long as only uh, sort of sort of you get around sort of a millimeter thick or so, and that's plenty enough. But uh, yeah, we can do something with that. Let's get in there. Right, hopefully, we'll be able to capture the repair on this now. Right, again, it's just a case of gently, gently, backwards and forwards, starting over here. Uh, airline on that to cool it down as we go in. see with this one where it's burnt through it's very tempting and I fall into this trap sometimes just keep on going but you put so much heat into one spot you're better off just leaving it cool down and coming back to it so this panel is cool enough to put your hand on it 
uh, on a hot summer's day with a black car, you probably would, wouldn't even get as hot as that. Would, would probably get hotter than that. So it's uh, it's controlling the heat very nicely. This is highlighted I think all the way down here with that crack I haven't, I haven't got concentrate I haven't got present penetration all the way along there. See where, where the heat has moved the metal very very slightly you can see this starting to open up I think. Yes I think I'll uh, carry on spotting down there to about here somewhere Right, I think we got it all. Let's clean up with the grinder. Will tell us whether we have or we haven't. looking much better now. In fact that's got hotter now with, the, with that than it has with the welding. Yes we can do something with that. Right so I'm quite happy with that now that's uh, that's a nice even gap down there now. Um, this is a bit of extra work to do. Catch it in the light there. You can see that I've got a bit of dolly in to do to sort that out. And still a little bit of finishing off for the welds. But you get the idea. I, th I think I'll be recutting this and playing with that again. But I intend to sort out this front end anyway some light on here so this like I said before about this being too fat here so I'll probably be chopping this quite a lot around here anyway but I'm quite happy with how that's come out and uh, like I said I wasn't expecting to get it fully perfect in on metal finish I'll uh, work with the filler but once I clean these back just a little bit more it will be just a very thin skimmer filler across the top Probably go through over the entire top of the wing and then bring it back. But uh, that's future Dave's problem, that is. Today's Dave was to uh, get that line nice and straight down there, and I'm happy that that's happened. And like I said before, the it's about getting that edge there nicely uh, in metal. That's the edge I wanted in metal. I'm not, I'm not too worried about having filler. On the surface as long as it's away from edges and yeah uh, happy days so the next video i think i'll concentrate on this front end here and uh, see if we can get that right <laughs>